Welcome back to Restore Thrive, Double D, Dr. Tim. Today we're going to talk about one of our foundational warm-up moves called the seesaw. You guys can imagine an old-school playground where you have a seesaw, just a triangle in the middle, a nice long board. Whatever goes up, the opposite side goes equal down, and vice versa. What we're going to do is we're going to use Tim as the seesaw. Unilaterally on one side, we'll say his left side, is going to be the board. The fulcrum, or the triangle, that we're going to pivot around is going to be his opposite hip. There's a couple of things that we need to establish while we're going through this. When we start to teach this, what we do the first time is we establish a nice long dead bug spine and a connection to a rigid lever lower limb. What he's gonna do is he's gonna stand nice and tall, he's gonna balance on one leg, hug the world, and then go into dorsiflexion of his ankle. This nice long lever will be connected when he starts to swing this behind him. From this position, Tim's gonna take his left leg and start moving his heel towards his other foot. Once he has passed his opposite heel, when he gets into his posterior chain, what I want him to do is A, soften that knee, push that heel away from you and get rigid from your hip to your heel and connect that rigidity from your hip to your ears. Dead bug spine. What he's going to do is he's going to lift that back heel and that is going to tip his trunk towards the floor. When he reaches a nice stable range of motion, he's going to hold onto it. Then he's going to use this hip to turn his body right back up to a starting position. Go ahead and pull yourself tall, stand up. Excellent. Once we've maintained that good rigid lever on one side, we draw the attention into that opposite hip. If Tim was standing upside down and inverted and did this same motion, what it would look like is he would just be pulling his leg behind him. But since he's on one leg and he's inverted and facing the floor, it's a completely different setup and we have to focus on that hip doing the motion. Other side, hug the world, dorsiflexion, swing that right leg, push your heel away from you, tip forward. Hold, drop your right hip a little. There we go. Push through the floor, use your left hip to rotate you back up. Perfect. What you see Tim doing is moving as a connected upper and lower half. I'm going to show you a couple of faults right now. The first one that we're going to see is people can't get their legs straight behind them. They just kind of leave this bend or their floppy foot. So the cue of pushing your heel away is going to make that rigid lever from the waist down. After that, what we're going to see is any deviation with his upper body connecting to the lower body. When people see this exercise, they want to take their chest to the floor. That's the opposite. We want to bring your heel up. That drives your chest to the floor. We don't just want to take our chest down. Show them taking their chest and then breaking. So when this happens, their chest goes and see where his leg is. So his leg isn't connected to the upper half. Go ahead and stand back up. Fault number two. Fault number three is any movement upstairs where his cervical spine is because that's going to directly correlate to what happens in his hips. If he looks up too fast, he's going to arch in his lower back and then come up using his erector muscles versus the muscles in his hip. Go ahead and show them that back Come down. Good. Now try to come back up with your head first. And he arches his back. So what we want to do is maintain that long connection. And what this does is it now translates to when you're running, are you pulling through your posterior chain with a connected and upright dead bug spine. We drop these into the warm-ups on the third round, but we do them every single round to dial in not only dead bug spine, but what we've also addressed with the Spider-Man. This is the Seesaw. If you guys have questions, please hit us up below or drop us a line at RestoreThrive.com. Thanks, dude.